Hey everyone, Jesse here again with the uh, Aquaponics IBC tote build. So this is the day that I need to do the grow beds and I have another um, IBC tote. This is a 275 gallon tote um, and I'm going to use this to split in half. I'll draw a line down the middle and cut it with a sawzall. Uh, if you notice, this has that outlet down there and also has that up there. So in order to maximize this, I want to, I don't want to cut it this way. I want to cut it right down the middle because when it meets that, um, I could probably take off a little bit uh, here and there. So maybe I'm doing it right there, but just to start out with, I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. I'll mark it with this marker. Um, I'll take out the uh, bolts down there and then we'll get the get it all cut up, separated from the bottom, and then this will be used kind of as a uh, as a brace for the beds when it's set on top. So I'll go ahead and get started on that, and I'll show you the the process. And it kind of has a seam right down the middle, so that should be clear that you don't really have to mark it. Uh, I'm going to grab a straight edge and just finish marking this up and show you the finished product. Alright, second part of this video, uh, using a Ryobi Sawzall with this Diablo metal blade. And I have it, the IBC tote marked right down the middle, all along there. So, I'll try and do this one handed and get this uh, piece cut, should be fairly easy. Well, looks like we'll have to get the other pieces cut too. Next part, I'll uh, get some of this stuff unbolted so we have a little more room to work with. And this, we got the uh, Ryobi impact driver with a star hex on the front of it. So you can see that. And I'm gonna get all these bolts taken out. I'll go ahead and get all the ones at the base taken out as well, uh, just so that we can get this removed. There's probably about eight or ten bolts on the bottom. And those two right there, I'm gonna have to get a Allen wrench and get those loose. So get that and we'll take off the entire cage, get to the next part. One thing to mention on this one is uh, using an Allen key on top, 3 16th, but I also need to, there's a nut on the bottom, so you have to just hold that while you 
remove these two bolts right there. Should come out pretty quickly. do the other one and uh, go to the next spot all right now we are ready to remove the entire cage and everything on it from the base you can see it just slides right off no problem tip it on its side so we can get this IBC towed out the base which we won't need for this section Let's see if I can punch this thing out through it maybe it'll come out this way Excellent. So now that I have this out, we can uh, make those finishing cuts with the sawzall. And split this cage in half. And then we'll also finish cutting down here. And you can see the seam that's going right across the bottom. So we'll switch out blades on the sawzall to a wood cutting blade, uh, but finish with the metal cutting on this. The previous time I did this, I actually used a hacksaw um, on this cage and like a Dremel cutoff tool after about 20 discs to on the Dremel and the hacksaw uh, it finally cut through everything. Sawzaw seems like definitely the better choice and easier way to go. So I'll go ahead and switch that up and do those cuts. Okay, got one side cut with the Sawzaw. Maybe we'll flip it over and see if we can do this one-handed again. Seems like if I start off slow and start a pattern, then it can fall in there pretty quickly. And the last piece. One thing I forgot to mention is you do not need these black things anymore. It just kind of comes with the system and don't need it. Alright, so we got those two split in half. So basically you cut the IBC tote and this will, the IBC tote plastic will sit on this. This will be the bottom and the sides and we'll need to kind of create some braces going across each side so that it doesn't bend too much. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out the sawzall blades for wood cutting blades and we'll get this thing cut in half. One thing I forgot to mention is that uh, 
you'll want to use a file and just kind of file these edges because as you can see they're very rough and very sharp. Uh, went ahead and switched over to a wood cutting blade for the sawzall. And I already made a cut in there with a tool. Let's see if it can get in there. I don't think it can. So we'll go ahead and start with a drill. Drill hole in there and then we can start with the sawzall. And here we go. So I'll go ahead and finish this and uh, show you the finished piece. Here's the uh, IBC tote split in half, and then I have the other one actually put on the metal frame. So that's the finished product. We'll clean it up right there, cut that off, and eventually we'll put in a, a drain spout in one of this, and then the tube to put in there, and uh, this will be pretty much done. Put some lava rock, and start doing aquaponics. Thanks for watching.